Right friends, welcome back to Learning Space. This is English Made Simple, 11th module. Let us learn 10 words as usual. Towards the end, I am explaining a small passage or a part of the editorial. So he has to make you understand sentence by sentence clearly. And this series is a total 50 modules. Each module is around 15 minutes to 20 minutes. And please follow this series. You can have better grasp of various English words. Not only that, you can easily follow any English passage or any editorial. Right friends, let us look at the first word, annihilate. If something is destroyed completely, say for example, atom bomb towards the closing movements of the Second World War in 1945. This was in Japan, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. When something is completely destroyed, you can say annihilate. Similarly, if some tornado is there, it is destroying everything on its way, you can use this annihilate. And this is the example of tornado. That means everything is destroyed in the way which this tornado is moving. Look at another most important example. When some team is defeated completely, Look at the recent cricket match, India and Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka was defeated badly in the Asia Cup final and you can use annihilate. When the team wins by 5 runs, 6 runs, 7 runs, you cannot use this. Completely defeated, complete damage, there only you can use annihilate. Look at the next one, intuitive. Intuitive means based on the feelings. Based on the understanding, when you go to some doctor by saying that there is a stomach pain, he will ask you several questions. Yesterday, where have you gone? What type of food you have taken? All these things. Subsequently, based on his sense of understanding, he will prescribe some medicines. That is intuitive. That means based on some understanding and there is no proof. There is no test. So, this is intuitive. Another important aspect is judges. They cannot give decisions based on intuitive approach. They must see the facts, figures, everything. After that only, they can give the judgment. This is the important aspect. Look at the next example, intuitive. In fact, based on the feelings rather than facts, Society judges what is right, what is wrong, right? So all of you are well aware. Society go, don't go into the rational things. They judge based on their feelings, right? So intuitive, we have seen three examples. Next one is anecdotal. If you look at the present prescriptions as far as Ayurveda is concerned, or traditional medicinal practices are concerned, here, there is no evidence, there is no clinical trial in most of the cases. As far as the medicines like paracetamol, brufen or any other allopathic medicines are concerned, there are clinical trials, stage 1 clinical trials, stage 2, stage 3 like that. And there is no such clinical trials as far as traditional medicinal practices are concerned. Still, they are used. So, it is anecdotal evidence. It is being transferred from generation to generation, right? So, when the information is not based on facts or careful study, it is called anecdotal. Please understand the difference between intuitive and anecdotal, right? This can be applied to traditional medical systems. In fact, though there is no clinical trials, though there are no proven facts, most of the times they work that's why people use traditional medicinal systems. So, traditional medicinal systems are based on anecdotal evidence, but not based on complete facts or clinical trials. But if you look at allopathic medicines, if you look at COVID-19 vaccines, they are based on proven clinical trials. So, that is the difference. Proximate. One example is, two houses are proximate. This house, this house. That means closest, whether it is time, whether it is place, whether it is a relationship, you can call it proximate. 
Similarly, the problem with the climate change is that it seems less proximate than terrorism. People always talk about terrorism and the ill effects of terrorism, but they don't talk, common men don't talk much about climate change. Look at another example. This is closest in degree. Here you see the interest of the company is in proximate things rather than ultimate goals. For any company, one should look at what are the ultimate goals, how we should grow, all these things. But when the company is looking at small, small things and the things in the near horizon, day-to-day -day problems, that company cannot grow. For that, it should have a vision, it should have horizon. So, when a company is looking at proximate things, that means the things which are on the close or you can say nearest horizon or day-to-day -day things, it cannot grow. It should concentrate on ultimate goals. So, I told you three examples as far as proximate is concerned. Next is proximate cause. When the forest fire is taking place, proximate cause means that is considered to be the direct cause. So, the proximate cause for most of the forest fires is lightning. Please don't forget. And another example, the proximate cause, that means the direct cause are considered to be the direct cause. The proximate cause for the recession in several advanced countries is structurally flawed mechanisms of easy money policies. Several countries follow easy money policies. They print a lot of currency and they throw at the public and at ultra low interest rates people go for borrowings from the banks and financial institutions and such type of easy money policies are responsible for recession in some advanced countries so this is the classic example of proximate cause or you can say that is the direct cause or consider it to be the direct cause or you can say it is the closest or you can say it is the nearest that means most appropriate in that sense you can use it robust robust means strong healthy unlikely to break or fail now the public sector banks are considered robust they faced a lot many problems around five six years ago and they overcame those problems with government support and now their health looks robust this is the important point to note. Then, strong and healthy, unlikely to break. Another example I am writing, he is 80 years and looks robust and healthy enough to take part in the half marathon. Half marathon means it is around 21 kilometers or so and 80 year old person is participating in half marathon. Here also you can use robust. Another example for robust is full of flavor. Darjeeling tea. Darjeeling tea has got full of flavor and here also you can use this robust. So robust means not only strong and healthy but also it indicates full of flavor. So when I say Darjeeling tea is robust, it has got full of flavor and look at this particular traditional bull of Ongol type and it is in robust health. Right, friends? Next, fragile. When you look at the articles made of glass or similar materials, they are highly delicate. So, you can call them fragile objects. Another example of fragile, fragile piece. If you see northeastern part of India, there are several competing ethnic groups. Look at the recent aspect of Manipur. It is, in fact, the tussle between cookie joe groups on one side and on the other side, matey groups. And because of that tussle, it is considered highly delicate. And a similar situation is there in several ethnic groups in Northeast India as well as Myanmar. Here, the peace is fragile, or you can say it is highly delicate at any point of time. If some small rupture is there, it will tear off. So, therefore, fragile means delicate, and his health is fragile. He is very old, weak, and he is suffering from cancer. You can call fragile health. Look at the next one bulwark. 
look at the pronunciation bulwark you see somebody lost his job in the recent layoffs of byju's let us take for example but his savings acted as bulwark that means he saved a lot of money when he was working in byju's and that savings it acted as bulwark that means it prevented him from the suffering under those circumstances you can use this term bulwark his earlier savings were acted as a bulwark similarly another example here it is the solid wall like structure constructed for defense you see breakwaters that means such a type of walls are built such type of walls basically they prevent the damage of the harbor from the sea waves and that can be called bulwark that means it is the solid wall like structure constructed for defense right i told you two examples for bulwark and another example strong support or protection normally the fundamental rights the democratic principles they act as bulwark against the tyranny of the majority or tyranny of the government in democratic countries so well laid out constitutions with the primacy to fundamental rights and democratic principles conventions they all protect the people from the aggression by the state or you can say aggression by the majority over minority so therefore you can say democratic principles robust constitutions they act as a bulwark against tyranny of the majority or tyranny of the governments in democratic countries look at the next one impossible i need not explain this impossible means it is not at all possible you exhausted all six attempts in upsc you cannot become ias officer if you are general candidate there is no chance at all that is impossible improbable is another word of course before going into that word another example here rakesh left the job because his boss was impossible that means first meaning i explained to you impossible means not at all possible second meaning is when the boss is behaving very badly suppose the bad behavior of the boss is resulting in exit of the employee or subordinate there also you can use rakesh left the job because his boss was impossible that means his bad behavior rude behavior under those circumstances also you can use impossible what is improbable improbable means not likely to happen but some day maybe 20 years 30 years down the line you may live on mars you may live on moon such type of things you can use improbable there is a difference between impossible and improbable improbable means it may take place but remote chance right so not likely to happen not probable but 20 years 30 years down the line you may get it and nuclear fusion energy at present that is looking like improbable in the near future but after 20 30 years it may become a reality several experiments are going on and improbable you see one person she has seen three centuries she was born in 1899 lived up to 2001 she has seen 19th century 20th century 21st century she lived for 102 years and such type of things are highly improbable but it may happen rarely here you have to use improbable that means for any person it is difficult to live in three centuries it is improbable to live in three centuries but she has done it so such rare things are possible rare things of living on the mars or moon may be possible 20 30 years down the line there only you have to use improbable impregnable the prime minister security is impregnable that means it is just like fort right and impregnable in the medieval period of india several impregnable forts were there 
it is very very difficult to attack a person by reaching inside the fort after completing 10 words for today let us look at this passage this is the editorial only part of the editorial i have taken from indian express this appeared on 15th of september this is about the nifa virus nifa virus affected once again kozhi kod city in kerala in this context this editorial came i am going to explain sentence by sentence i am going to explain some of the meanings of various words checking nifa kerala appears to be reading in the virus it seems that kerala is controlling reigning in means controlling the thing it is time strategies are developed to prevent it from resurfacing it came four times in five years so the newspaper feels kerala is controlling no doubt but it is the time to prevent from resurfacing how to prevent it the nifa virus has surfaced the recent one that's why he used has surfaced for the fourth time in the past 5 years two people in kosi kot district have succumbed what is succumbed after illness if the person is dying you can call it succumb sometimes for the serious illness also you can use a succumb in this particular case it is death the district authorities have shut down he is in fact talking about the present things so they for have shut down educational institutions and cordoned off cordoned off means preventing the people to enter that area suppose some high dignitary is coming then the area will be cordoned off no outsiders will be allowed into that area that is cordoning off seven villages as containment zones that means these seven villages nobody is allowed to enter neighboring states have been put on alert neighboring states all of you are well aware the states which have border with kerala they are put on high alert kerala had used here you see he used the term had because he is talking about some past incident had used these measures with a fair degree of success during the past nifa outbreaks when he is talking about the present thing he is using have when he is talking about the past one he is using had then even then it needs to be vigilant against the virus that means previously it controlled but even then it needs to be in fact vigilant which though not infectious that means he is telling some additional information it is not infectious as covid can turn lethal very fast lethal means sometimes the it is highly dangerous lethal means and deaths may occur so lethal means highly dangerous and deaths may occur in this context it is used pertaining to deaths lethal means when somebody is losing life because of this virus or bacteria you can call it lethal and sometimes you can use it when it is turning out to be serious illness highly dangerous in severe cases patients develop respiratory distress and brain fever and case fatality rate suppose if 100 persons are affected fatality rate means percentage of persons dying that may go up to 75% there is no vaccine simple english even in hospital settings only the treatment is limited to symptoms there is no clear cut treatment the nifa virus was first identified he was talking about past as an epidemic that affected pig farmers in malaysia and singapore in 1999 two years later that means from 1999 he was talking about so this paragraph was talking about 1999 and subsequent period two years later the pathogen claimed past tense more than 40 lives in west bengal that means he is talking about 2001 icmr surveys have shown he came to the present now have shown that the virus has a natural reservoir in fruit bats right friends i have taken only part of the editorial to explain you how to understand various english statements let us conclude this lecture here please to join for the 12th module have a nice day thank you